Hey everyone, okay, so today I'm going to do a fall beauty guide. Um, I actually got none on this piece of paper, and I got five makeup trends and three hair trends. Um, I want to say two things real quick is I have no makeup on, so sorry about that. I'm about to do my makeup right after this, or right after the next video I'm about to make. Um, but I want to say, if you've been following me from the beginning, you know that I'm so excited that my hair's been growing. Um, my hair is pretty dang long already. It's down to there. Um, go back a few to like April, May-ish, um, videos or maybe even June, July. And look how short my hair was. It was about up here. So I grew a pretty good fair amount of five to six inches. Um, if you actually see when I split up my hair and I hold it back like that, if you seem like a reddish tint, you're, you're not colorblind. I did dye my hair. So if you want to color, like, a a colorblind, you hear me? If you want, like, a, um, a little more of a look, I'll do that. Ooh, next video. I'll kind of open the blinds a little more next video. Okay, so I got top, top five makeup trends, and I guess we can get started, and then I'll do the hair. It's zooming out. Um, I actually have it on this people thing that I got in the magazine, so I thought that would be really cute to share. Um, rosy cheeks. A pink flush is so romantic. It makes every complexion look instantly healthy and fresh. Wear with equally... Uh, I'm sorry, I cannot talk today. Equally pretty, low-key makeup. Try a bit of smudge brown eyeliner and a berry tinted lip balm. Um, as you heard, the berry tinted lip balm, it's a lip balm, so it doesn't have as much color. Like, I'll show you. That girl right there, that's the berry tinted lip balm. And her eyes have the smudge. And that berry, it looks like a pinkish, watermelonish color. So, number two. Wine red lips. Creamy or matte? This notice me shade creates an ultimate sultry, sultry vibrant shade. That makes no sense, but okay. Actually, I really like red lips, but I don't think it'll look good on me. But we're going to try that one day. <laughs> um, wear with lush, luminous, even toned skin. So don't wear, like, heavy, heavy makeup. Try to tone it down, but make it look very flawless and luminous. Just don't be, like, snooky. <laughs> don't get me wrong, I love snooky, but... Um, a touch of blush and mascara to keep the look polished, not over not overdone I like I just said I did not even read like I have not even read this yet that's why I'm not fluent with it so sorry but um like I said like I didn't even read that and you just want like a little touch of makeup maybe a little mascara even eyeliner will work but not too thick and bold um like I use my waterline very simple if you guys want to update it on my everyday makeup routine I will because I do a few things different I actually been liking them so yeah, number three is bold eyeliner. For a more modern look, take on a cat eye. Um, I actually don't know how to do a cat eye, so please don't ask me for a tutorial. Um, you know what, ask me if you guys want a cat eye look, I could try it. I'm going to start doing research on that because I actually need video requests and I need that up there. Like, I need to challenge myself with makeup, so... Use a black eyeliner to create a shape, a square shape off. Okay, so it tells you right here how to do it. A wispy, exaggerated line in a triangular point. So it actually does show. Wear with lots of mascara and keep the, keep the focus on the eyes. I like that. Okay, so like I showed her those two. Okay, so the dark red lipstick is her and the bold eyes. Um, it's actually wine red lips that's actually a really nice color it's not a berry shade it's perfect for a red <coughs> I'm sorry it's actually I don't have any red around me um so I can't show you exactly what color red it is it's like that red that's perfect yeah that's exactly the red just like an orangish red and I actually really do like that but look at her eyes all the focus is on her eyes so I really do like that the next thing is number five, and this is the last one. Earthy Shadow. Oh, God. Versatile shades of taupe, browns, and bronze looks great with every eye look. Bonus, they work for day or night. Um, all I work, 
like all I work with is on my eyes is browns like I have so many neutral palettes it's not even funny like I have other ones but I really like my neutrals like my favorite eyeshadow would have to be uh, it's been my favorite eyeshadow for a while now and oh my god zoom zoom on me okay would have to be the L'Oreal 820 Golden Sunset I love that eyeshadow um, wear with a, a lip and a cheek color with a simil similar tone, like a pinkish beige lipstick and bronzer for cool, psh, motorantic look. You guys are going to have to pronounce that word, the M1. Yeah, I can't pronounce that. Um, but like the pinky, uh, brown beige shade i'm trying to get it is actually this one by elf it's rosy tan <sighs> i'm in love with it look i'm in love with it i just love this lipstick all right watch the difference see that's the bottom and that's the top it has more of a pinky tone than a it's very natural who extended it Oopsies. <laughs> but I really do like it. It's a really nice shade. Um, it's good for anything. Like, you could wear this with smoky eye because it's really natural if you want it, all the eye, like everything to go, oh, everything to stay on the eyes, wear neutral. Um, or even a, I usually wear that with my brown shadows. So I really do look like it. Okay, so now we're going to do uh, the three hair trends. Sleek ponytails, a super smooth, glossy finish adds a chic twist to this typical, oh, okay, I thought it was pointed out, I was like, that is not no ponytails, typical style, uh, simple style, so that's one. Number two is a tousle texture, whether you wear your hair straight or wavy, the key is to effortly, effortless look is to make pieces an imperfect, okay, yeah. Like, if you guys don't want perfect hair, like hers, but it's a really nice look. Um, you want that messy look, so that's what she has. Number three is braided updos. The ultra popular braids take on a something feel when you add it to a pinned up hairstyle. I'm still trying to work on that word. Sophisticated? Oh, okay. no. So that is that. On um, the next video, probably right after this, I'm going to do this one. So yeah. Um, so I hope you enjoyed and hope to see you guys later. Bye.